Hey everybody, I'm back with part two of the paper Mac, I guess, okay? In this video, I'll show you how to make the chamber part that we just finished last video. Um, the handle, the slidable mag thing. And then if I have time, I'll show you how to make this kind of cruddy little rail system I made up, okay? So where we left off was this, okay? We just finished making this. And so, here, let me turn the light on quickly. Okay. Just finished this piece of this thing where you have that hole cut out for the little slider thing, okay? So what you're gonna take now is a sheet of paper and your pencil, all right? Roll it up, um, roll it up as tight as you can because well, just roll it up as tight as you can, okay? And then Tape it how you please. Well, actually, don't tape it yet, okay? Um, you want to measure to see if it will fit into the middle tube, the part that sticks out, okay? If it doesn't, simply unroll it and keep trying, okay? This took me a while to get it the first time, so don't feel bad if you don't get it the first time, all right? Again, roll it up. Um, actually, don't roll it up portrait, okay? Roll it up landscape, because it will be much, much thinner and easier to cut through, okay? So, we'll roll it up like that. And... Uh, and see if it fits into the middle tube. If it does, slide it in as far as you can and then let it unroll basically. Okay? So then pull it back out and tape it up. Cuz you want it to fit like perfectly as as perfectly as possible into the middle tube, okay? So uh, Okay, so now, as you can see, it fits very well into this, um, that tube, see, because you can see it right there, and it's slideable, okay, so that's a good thing, alright, what you're gonna do now is cut it down a lot by Cutting about two inches off each side, okay? Um, and then you can decide how long you want it, but I'd keep it about five or six inches, and like six at the most, okay? So then if you don't have very much left, I'd tape the extra parts down. All right, and then you can try to insert it into the um the middle tube. All right, and you can see fits very well, and this works about every time. Okay, so there are other ways of doing this, and you could probably look it up, but I most likely won't make a video about it. Okay, so. If you want, you can save these two scraps, but I'd keep them just in case. Or you can throw them away if you want, but I'd keep them in case something else comes up. Alright, now what you're going to do is basically make a hole the same size in the tube that you just cut out, okay? So, how do I say this? Alright, um, first of all, make sure that your tube 
figure out which way you want it to slide. If you want it to slide back, um, put it more like this, like toward the front, all right? If you want it to slide forward, put it more toward the back, okay? So that you can slide the opening, all right? Find about a third.